the map man. Okay, welcome to Monster Train. At the very beginning of the run, it tells you what the final boss is. Seraph. He has the power to cleanse all units of effects which don't benefit Seraph. This fight will require more than sheer strength. So you begin the game with uh, a champion, like a basic deck. I actually don't know what the basic deck is because I'm playing a new faction. Uh, the Stygian. Their spells deal 6 damage to the front enemy unit. Uh, the green people are providing restore 2 health, apply regen 1. And then we have some basic train stewards. From what I found, by the way, these cards are all terrible. And the goal is to get rid of all the cards. Uh, so, champion. We can either be Chillwind, strike, triggers when attacking, f apply Frostbite 10 to the attack unit. Frostbite, unit takes 1 damage per stack at the end of turn. So this is kind of like dealing 25. And then you have Handheld Totem. Strike applies spell weakness 1 to the attack unit. Next time it's hit by a damage spell, it takes damage damage again for each stack of spell weakness. The sweep uh, means it's a good AoE, which is sometimes a big deal. Sweep, sweep. Gain an artifact. So, apply days to enemy units when they enter the floor below the power room. That's pretty good. Merchant costs are reduced by 25%. That's pretty good. Alright, Valley. Okay, initial battle. We have Heaven's Priests. It gives you a preview of what type of units you are going to face here. So we have, uh, I think this, that's the boss. It's uh, 4 attack, 50 health. We got 2 attack, 25 health guys, and then 1 health, uh, 0 attack guys, which restore these guys if they don't die. And we can get an additional 75 coins if we want enemy units to appear on each floor. Let's, uh, let's get some excitement early. This could use a tutorial, there's too many keywords within one minute of gameplay. There's a tutorial. I just am not, you know, playing the tutorial. Because I'm an expert. Okay, so, uh... The cost of accepting that 75 health thing, 75 money, was that, you know, you just got an extra casual 7 enemies. But, the good news is because I chose Sweep, uh, this guy can one-shot all of these with the sweep, because they all have one health. But the bad news is, uh, in this game, enemies attack first. Unlike all your usual roguelikes, which is why this game is actually so hard. So, if I play this, uh, you know, they'll just kill me. So I think what I have to do here is... Develop this guy up here, and then just Frozen Lance twice. And then it's gonna be a one-on-one -on -one fight. Oh, actually, that cost zero, so we're fine. Easy. Ah, let me uh, move my cam so I'm not covering the mana. And the deck. Oh, now I'm covering the deck. Let's see, where should I be? Here. Okay, so I got an unusual draw the first round, uh, where it was just spells of blue. Uh, normally you draw some of these minions and they tank for you because uh, things always attack the thing in the front. So I put this guy here, uh, 3, 6, 9 damage goes into it and then 3 damage goes into my guy. And then I bash all of them with a sweep. So that's a good play. Uh, it gives you a combat preview. This is expected to die. They're all expected to die from the sweep. And then I take 3 damage. Now, can I do better than that? And also, we can develop, uh, there's three floors in this, so they're kind of tower defensey. We can develop some people on the bottom floor, some people over here. There's a collector here, which if I kill him, I gain 50 money, but unfortunately we can't kill him. I think, uh, my best play is to put two train stewards here. I think that tends to be the right play, like developing creatures. So, uh, moves from top to bottom, and then pow, look at that sweep. A little bit of damage, this guy heals, this guy heals, and then they ascend the floor. If they make it to the top, they attack the pyre, and of course we are trying to protect the pyre. Uh, we're trying to bring that bad boy all the way to hell. So it looks like I'm not going to be able to do enough damage to this unless... It's 11, that's 12 plus uh, 5 plus 5. I could kill this. Yeah, that's probably worth it.
But you can see, as you can see, the creatures are really important because they provide passive, like, 5 damage each turn. So being the spell people, it looks like I'm just, uh, strongly incentivized to Frozen Lance of the Bunch. Uh, the Restore is still worth it because if this survives one more hit, I deal an extra 5 damage. Now, unfortunately, the boss is distracting me enough that it looks like uh, that thing is going to get one hit on the pyre, but whatever, two damage. Okay, so I'm going to put Restore on this. Because of regen one, during combat, this thing will heal once, so it's going to take four, and then it'll heal one to five, and then it's going to take four, and then it'll, take, uh, it'll be at one. So it's really important that you uh, think about the values, uh, breakpoints. Because every single extra attack done on your guy is an extra attack your entire gang gets to do on them. This guy's relentless. Uh, normally, each thing only attacks once, but the boss will finish out the combat until the end. Uh, yes, there's a bonus for not taking damage. So I took two damage on the pyre, so I lose 4% score. Uh, if you clear the boss on the bottom level, you get more percent. I chose trial, so I get more score. Uh, and I get, of course, the 75 bonus money. All right, so clan pack. This is a blue pack for me. So the Stygian are clearly well known for being powerful spell casters. So I can either deal, uh, have pick a 2 mana deal 50, 1 mana deal 25, discard a card at random. I think I'm going to pick um, deal 25, the front twice. Allied clan pack, so my allies are the green people, so I get to pick one of the cards from there. Uh, we can pick this little guy who just uh, is a helpful draw plus one each turn. That's not bad. Consume means it's a one-time use per battle. Regen 5 is pretty nice, but yeah. I think I'm going to take Restoration Detonation and then try to pick a beefy guy, because I'll need one. Okay, second one, you get to choose which path to take. I can go on a Merchant of Magic plus 75 coins, or I can gain a Stygian unit and a Merchant of Steel, which uh, improve my units. So right now, the units I have are just the base units, so they're all pretty terrible, so it's not worth upgrading them. But I will get a Stygian unit, and then I can improve it immediately. That's not bad. So it's either improve my magic spell, uh, which I got the Helical Crystals, which could be really good, uh, or improve my Stygian unit. I'm going to improve the Stygian unit. Okay, Encant. Whenever I cast a spell on the floor, this will get plus one attack and plus one health. Or, I see Silo fight. Sweep, strike, apply spell weakness to the attacked unit. Hmm, they're both kind of supporty units. I think the left card's pretty terrible. I'll choose Highly. I see. Merchant of Steel. Can upgrade a unit with plus 25 health. Upgrade a unit with Encamp Gain Armor 1. Upgrade a unit with Endless. When the unit dies, return its card to the top of the draw pile. Well, these are really good. I also have a 75, 25% discount, so these are a little cheaper than usual. That's pretty nice. So we'll uh, buff Icy Silo Fight with the plus health. And then uh, Encamp Gain Armor 1, I guess. And it seems like a really small deal. I mean, it. okay, it seems like the debt. The game wants me to build a massive spellcasting uh, deck. And then this thing will like naturally tank for itself too. So each uh, unit can get two upgrades on it. Okay, and it's really good to take cards out of your deck because some of these cards are really bad. I think the Restore is pretty weak and the Train Stewards are really weak. The Frozen Lands is kind of weak too. But... I'll remove one of the restores. 
and I will remove one of the train stewards. Fire Absorbers. These pyre-sensitive attackers are heavy hitters and get stronger when spells are cast. Aggressive Amulet. Non-boss enemy units get plus four. If I do that, I get a drafted card, which is pretty good. So, the enemy units are two attack, 25 health. If I cast a spell, they get plus one attack. Yeah, that's a pretty big counter. They've got a High Priest to the Light. Well, this is a really scary guy. Uh, this has five attack, but they sweep. Uh, sweep is scary because it means it can hit my boss guy, which only has six health. It's gonna be a tough one. Uh, I'm going to go for the non-boss enemy units get plus four attack. The good news is the uh, priests still don't get attack. Oh, also I hadn't noticed, but this uh, hero only takes up one spot on the train. So each floor can only hold five uh, value of units, and this one counts as only one. So the question is, do I want to hold the bottom floor? Or do I want to like build up on the top floor? I think we can hold the bottom. Well, we'll hold the bottom. Now each time I play a spell, this will get plus one attack, but you know, what can you do? Bounces up the uh, one shield I get. Okay, we got a 50 money thing here. This has spell weakness 2 on it. Takes three times damage from the next damage spell. Wait, it's a multiple? Spell weakness, the next, it takes that much damage again for each stack of spell. Oh, that's a little bit better than I thought. I, was, I thought it was plus one. Okay. So this deck, it's all about like getting the spell damage through on the monsters and then spell weakness and then having them go up and then taking multiples of damage. I see. I want to detonate this. Oh, we're doing pretty well here. The boss! So currently, the boss is, uh destroying me. So it's got sweep, which means that he just deals five once and then five the second time and kills my main guy as well as this guy. Uh, so it's only this guy who's going to be taking a bunch of damage. So I guess the best I can do here is deal five. The restore actually helps a little bit because uh, this will survive. No, it won't survive an extra attack. It might with the... Uh... Okay, so let's just lance first. So, I want to try to put this at 40 health. So that would be Lance, Lance, Restore, because Restore would be um, one extra damage that this will have. It's only dealing one. Oh, but apply Spell Weakness to the attacked unit, so it's going to have a lot of stacks of Spell Weakness then. Alright, I think we'll be okay. Whip him real good. So as you can see, the one extra health from the regen will give another spell weakness. And then I just hopefully draw this. Uh, it takes a casual 10 times multiplier, so I'll just deal 60 damage. Woo -ho -ho. A Crypt Builder. If discarded before the end of your turn, it will instead be played. If I manage to discard it, I get to deal 60 damage to the front enemy unit and push it back. Draw one, discard one, and Helical Crystals, Crystallis Part 2. Deal 25 damage to the front enemy unit twice. Well, I'll try this. 
And we get an allied clan pack. Deal 5 damage to the front enemy unit, draw plus 1 next turn for 0. Restore 2 health to all friendly units, deal 2 damage to all enemy units, enhance a unit with plus 3 and plus 3. These all seem pretty unimportant. The sting is at least, like, neutral. The sting just seems good. Oh, another one. A unit draft, yes. Uh, okay, so that's a good tank. I think I'll take it. We need a tank. The bad news is I can't, like, currently fit this. But, uh, eventually you get to put more guys. Helvin, duplicate any card except your champion. That's really good. Gain a Stygian unit. Alright, and then you have, uh, Caverns. Or we can Merchant of Steel. Restore 20 Pyre Health. Oh, well, we definitely want this. So let's first gain a Stygian unit. So we have, uh, Encamp for plus minor stuff. We have Encamp. Gain armor 3. So this is a tank unit. But the problem is I don't think I'm going to be casting very many spells on floors that... Well, I I do, like, the way it's set up, actually, is the first floor does the spell weakness, and then the second floor casts the spells. So yeah, this might actually be good. Alright, let's see what a uh, Concealed Cavern event we have. Bone Shaker makes its way through an abandoned train yard. You can either get a large hook or quick release doors. The doors. In a trap shoot, consume, so one time use, to send a unit to the bottom floor, apply days to. That's pretty good. The hook, you can pull a unit to the pyre, apply days three. The pyre does do damage, so that's like dealing 60 damage. I think we want the trap shoot. And we can duplicate any card except your champion. So this is really OP when you duplicate a card that has already been buffed. Uh, so I'm going to duplicate Icy Cello Fight. Let's go. Daedalus, uh, double barrel. Barrels explode twice. Right. How does trap shoot work with the bosses that freeze cards shut? Uh, from my understanding, it'll just daze them, maybe? From the bottom? So, constructed explosives, these things, when they attack, uh, they just uh, explode and then deal 20 damage to the front unit. It's uh, a lot. Alright, and these guys are dealing 20 damage to the front, which is a lot. I can bring that down to 15. Uh, the problem is I don't think I want to have this three guy on the bottom. Right now, the deck is designed, I mean, we need to hold five on the bottom. I think I want both icy silo fights on the bottom. Uh, I think we'll have like a filler first floor this time around. So 15 health, uh, this thing does deal 20, but I killed the first one and I rejuvenate, so it'll work out. Uh, this thing, whenever it regens, it gains one attack and one health. These things have rage, which means they do decrease in strength as they go up. Uh, but, I mean, there were bombs there, so it's kind of rough. Okay, Sting. It's a freebie on the front. Got a bomb. Ah, I think my hero's just gonna die on turn one. Yep, rip. Well, the second floor was where this was at anyways. And then I put the filler units on the top. So, the enemy is attacking first is a really big deal. I don't even get to do anything. Uh. 
Oh, that means I can actually develop um, another bottom roll there. Do I want two icy silophytes on floor two? I think so. And then we put that guard on the top. That was, that was the original plan. Basically stack these two. And I can trap shoot this one down so it doesn't, uh... Yeah, that's probably good. Oh, I could have also just shot the bomb with the spell. That might have been a better idea. Oh no! This is a hasty boy. He moves directly from the first floor to the third floor. Oh my god, I'm so rude. Okay, this is dying, so I guess we just try to whittle this down with spells. Put a little bit of healing. Take the bomb. And you'll notice the boss is uh, flying outside, and you can deal damage to him, but... Oh, I wonder if that... Oh, that spell damage is gonna, like... Gonna be interesting. Okay, so here. Uh, they're not gonna do that much damage to the pyre, at least. It's only, like, three each. Uh, one each, once these guys lose one more rage. Just heal. Store. Do a little bit of damage here, why not? The Pyre does 20 damage AOV, so it'll take care of everything on the top. Yeah, okay, looks like the boss is here. Uh, do I want to just kill this unit so it doesn't deal damage to the base, or do I need to kill this thing? Uh, we have Spell Weakness times 2. Okay, how much damage does that do? Oh, this does actually duplicate the damage. This is currently dealing 150 damage, which is the triple. That's a lot of damage. I think I should cast it on the boss. This is dealing 8, um, so I want to try to get this to be above 24 health. Alright, with that it's above 24. I could, you know, take a little bit less on the pyre, but I'm willing to take some damage. Okay, we're taking 27, or we're dealing 27 here. 8 damage 3 times 24. So no point really in healing that again. So I'll just uh, throw the 60 damage at it. And we'll whip it real good. Speed up the uh, whipping. Okay, and then we'll casually deal. How much damage is this gonna be? 25, 13. It's 50 times 13. It's 650 damage. Wait, 325. Oh, it's because it only casted the first time and then it died. Okay, rare pack. We can either apply quick, which means I attack before the enemy. This isn't very important in this one. Transfer all frostbite on this floor to a unit, then double the amount of frostbite. That doesn't uh, matter on this one. Consume X. Apply 1X sap and 1X frostbite. Uh, so I'm gonna choose spike decision. I think this will be important for boss fights. Okay, so the plan is 
I probably need a big guy on the top. So the plan is this, like our first floor, we put all the spell weakness on them. The second floor, we have a tank, and then some DPS behind it. And then the third floor, I haven't decided yet. So DPS, that's DPS. Aren't you screwed because your deck is debuff and the boss cleanses all debuffs? Um, we'll worry about that when we get there. Now here's a question, can I make do with five board space? So the plan is the base floor is Icy Silified, Icy Silified Tethys. So that's five. The second floor is Awoken Hollow plus Animus of Will or something, so that's five. And then the top floor would be something like Guard of the Untamed. And I think I can make do with five. So the question then, get an extra Ember each turn or draw one? Draw one each turn doesn't seem, I'll just get an extra action each turn. Usually I would have thought, like, you always get the unit thing, because the unit thing is so ridiculously good. Okay, we have money, some health over here, we have a uh, remove two cards, artifact, oh, easy choice here. So removing two cards is super good, because as you might have noticed, some of these cards are uh, not very good, like, Train Steward is looking pretty terrible now. And Restore is not as bad as Frozen Lance, I think. And you're just trying to like get rid of all the basic cards in your deck pretty fast. Gain an artifact. Plus three magic power. Sting spells get plus 20 magic. Wow, that is such a specific one. Sting spells specifically deal plus 20. I have a sting. Uh, or I can just get plus three magic power. Oh, that's right. Uh, magic power also affects healing. It's pretty good at frustration detonation. I'll just take plus three. I don't think we can build a Sting stack deck. Awoken unit. Uh, multi strike two, a sweep, 330. You know, actually, I think I might not need either. I think both aren't good enough. Because I have a, I have a very specific setup plan. These two units on the bottom floor. Uh, I only want one more unit total, and I think these aren't it. I'm just gonna skip. Okay, so I can either apply Spell Weakness 2, or damage spells cast on this floor cost minus 1. The Conduit. This isn't very useful because I'm trying to apply Spell Weakness on the first floor and then do the spells on the second floor. Protectors of the Clipped. Crack their defenses to defeat the heavy hitters behind. So, we got uh, the boss is gonna be Thoughtbinder. Uh, adds mutilations, blah blah blah. We have four attack, 60 health. Whenever I cast spells, it gains 10 armor. And we have uh, six attack, two health peeper, person. Uh, so fortunately we're dealing two AoE damage on bottom floor. Non-boss enemy units enter with spikes 4. When a unit with spikes is attacked, the attacker takes 1 damage per stack. Yeah, that's fine. 4 damage. I don't really have multi-attack, so this is fine. Okay, first floor. Spell weakness. Sweepy guy. Oh, wait. This guy dies, doesn't it? When it attacks now. Okay, so I should only put out the champion, I think, on the final boss then. The, the spikes four is actually uh, much harder than I thought. I, I changed my mind! I changed my mind! I think I just passed this turn. Bad draw. Okay, that's 19 damage coming in. The plan was to have this guy up there. This guy will also incidentally kill the collector for 75 money. This thing has a spell weakness, so it'll take 2x damage from the next spell. I think I carry out my plan still. Two icy solo fights on the bottom floor. Can heal this out of range. Yeah, 
There's uh, five damage coming in plus 13, so I need the heal for sure. Minus 11. It's less than I thought. 5, 9, 13, huh? Okay, we want to put this guy there. That's where we want to cast the spells. Uh, this is going to get through, unfortunately. Unless, if I do this, I deal 56 damage to the front guy. Until one shot. Uh, but unfortunately, I still take the 6 damage on the pyre. But I have a better plan. We're multiplying by 3. Guess I'll just do this. We'll let the pirate take care of the top one. Womp womp. Okay, restoration detonation. Pow. Guess we'll bonk this guy for, uh, what is this, uh, 189? I didn't know the pirate takes spike damage. Interesting. Uh, respite turn. Heal a little, I guess. And let's see... Didn't I pick some sort of DPS? I did. It's supposed to go behind this guy. Oh, and the and I still uh, okay. Put a random chump here. Oh, and I can still cast uh, spells here, even if they don't do anything. We want it on the bottom it stacks armor twice. Oh, here's the boss. I have two spiky boys. I got the Tethys, who we want on... I guess uh, this floor. Place this guy here. To send a unit to the bottom floor, apply Dazed too. I think that's really good here. Can bosses be Dazed? I think so. That's huge. So we have a uh, seven times multiplier on spells, so that's nine times seven. But I don't necessarily want to cast my spell there right now. So I get rid of my self mutilations. I heal this guy a little bit. Uh, and this is where we'll make our stand. I don't want to get rid of the spell damage yet. We need like a really cool spell. In fact, we can see our draw pile. Oh, Crypt Builder is in there. Rip boss. God, the RNG. Nine forty-five. That's a cool deck. Yeah, we got our banners. When you summon the second unit during a turn, gain three. That's good. Land pack, guardian stone, and can't apply armor one to friendly units. Small buff. Apply Frostbite 2 to 2 units. Deal 4 damage to random enemy unit 5 times. Ice Storm. Yeah, that's really good, especially with the spell damage buff. Uh, this kills some of the bottom people. Allied Clan pack. Restore 28 health draw to next turn. That's pretty good. Restore 33, apply regen 4. 
Mm, that's very woke. And graft restore four, gain one, draw one. I believe my healer is mainly on the top floor. I don't really care that much for it, so I'm just gonna engraft as like a filter. Well, it says uh, cast random. When spells are cast, it only affects that floor. Okay, I think removing cards from the deck is really good. Duplicate any card except your champion. Oh. Concealed caverns, cool event. Or we can have forger spells, money, and pyre. So the question is, what card do I want to duplicate? Do I want another icy silo fight in here? I mean, that's the best card to duplicate, obviously. And that means the worst cards in my deck are definitely these train stewards. Spooky. A penance yard comes into view. A truly terrible sight. Dead hell born from across the nine rings of hell are strung up as atonement just for existing. At the base of these awful contraptions are some familiar blights, but peeking through you can see something of value under the rubble. So I gain Ember Stasis, gain 3 Calcified Amber. Playing a Blight card deals 100 damage to the front enemy unit. That's pretty good with the stacking. Let's me kill the bosses. The Massive Stones, gain 3 dead weight. When summoned, friendly units get plus 1 for no. The Broken Shards, gain weathered cold stones, gain 3 vengeful shards. When you play your first Blight card each turn, restore 5 Pyre Health. Reserve. Triggers of the card remains in hand at the end of the turn. Your Pyre takes 1 damage. And this one fixes the deck as soon as I play the 3 Blights. I think that's fine. I'll do it. You inspect what looks to be Ember, but are disappointed to find that it's been hardened into something else. Luckily, some of it has regained power over time. Battle. Hidden Assault. Sneaky Clipped have infiltrated your trains. Use spells in higher floors to take them out. At the start of battle, enemy units appear, so I can start spawning everywhere. A boss. Oh, it's got Sweep. Life steal 10. Oh my god. That was brutal. Okay, Silent Marksman. 7 attack, 2 health. Not a target in combat. Loses 1 attack each turn. I think Sweep still gets them. I'm not 100% sure. I think these guys might be too scary. If, like, the top floor spawns with Silent Marksman, I'll just... Nah, we're, we're not gonna do this one. So not a target in a combat means I actually can't even attack with the AoE. I see. I wasn't 100% sure. Okay, so this is a defender, which just has 60 health. This guy is an overcharged tank, which does a bunch of stuff. I wanted an icy silophyte in the, this floor, I think. I see Silver Flight there for sure. I really want that money. So I think I'm gonna spend this. Like, this is. Oh! This kills both of them. That's cool. Okay, the first order of business is getting these two set up on floor one. Oh, right! And when I summon three, I get more mana. I had forgotten. Okay, so top floor is my heal over time guy. Cool, so floor one will always spell weakness for these fools. Craft. Get all that. I think I start getting rid of my calcified embers. Casually deals 100 damage. Oh, 
Oh, I forgot to play units. Right. Oh, this is the perfect ice storm area. I want a calcified ember of this. Wait, wait, this thing has five spell damage on. I do still need to kill it. Okay, guess I'll just toss the rock at it. So stealth things can be targeted by spells that just target front things. Let's see, the boss, I believe, had sweep and dealt, what, 10 damage or something? So Tethys was always going to get one shot. Oh, but I have a trap shoot, if I happen to draw it at the right time. I don't think healing Tethys will do anything. This thing, though, will help. I'll drop the rock on this guy, get rid of the rocks in the deck. Stealth can be targeted by all spells, I see. Okay, so this deals 8 damage AoE, my guy only has 8 health, so bad matchup. Alright, I'm dealing 0 damage, but that's fine. The Restoration Detonation is actually still good here. Restore 13, deal some damage. Deal a good chunk of damage. Wanna tank for this guy. I wanna put that guy on the back. The beeps. Oh, let's see. Oh my god, these backside people are gonna do so much damage. So, 8, 15, 22 on the first shot. If I engraft this, 22, 29... No, that won't even help. Maybe it'll help. It's hard to do the math. I'll just do this. The Ice Storm gets rid of a lot of damage here. Oh, but I want to make sure to cast a big spell on the front guy. But I don't have a big spell. Okay, the boss is currently gaining 10 health, but I'm probably uh, doing some amount of damage. This is 34 health, so it's going to survive um, 4 hits. Uh, I can make it 35 plus 4, 39. I think every extra health I put on this is huge. If I apply uh, regen 2, yeah, that'll put it at 35, um, 6 shields, 41. That's probably good. Or actually, this is enough. I can just toss a frozen lance at it also. I guess 41 is just enough. Okay, so this is dealing 56 damage, this is dealing 63 damage. 63 is definitely the thing I should use. And then I toss a trap shoot on this to daze it too. And looks like it's dead. So this guy will die. Interesting, that means this was a really close fight. Oof, 
plus. Plus seven magic power on this floor. Hmm. I think that works really well with my planned second floor where I have two two units and then one one unit. And then I think we'll take some in graft. Alright. We have concealed caverns, merchant of magic, and money. Or we have artifact, health, and merchant of steel. Mystery box, artifact. Alright, let's go for this side. Oh, I should have. Law order, I should have visited the store first. Punish? No punish. A cave of a thousand eyes seems to awaken as you grow near. Relinquish your life or your wealth, and you may be rewarded. You don't often make a offerings to unknown beasts, but you consider making an exception. Offer wealth. Pay 25 coins, 10% chance to gain an artifact. Lose 5 health, 10% chance to gain an artifact. Eh, what's 5 health? I need all the money. I have a 25% value on my money. Here's some health. Your tribute disappears, but no recognition of your worth. Further tribute. Here's some more health. You continue to question your worth. Here, have some more health. We did it! When you play your third card of the turn, draw two. Nice. Ember Stone, upgrade a spell to cost minus one. Surge Stone, upgrade a spell with plus 20 magic power and consume. Consume once per upgrade a spell to remove consume and cost plus one. Oh, upgrade with plus 20 magic power and consume. So that's really good on the AoE spells. Let's see. That's 24 damage five times and consume. Nice. And then we can uh, randomly make a. I'll do this one minus one. Alright, purge some cards from the deck. Get rid of the restore. You'll notice the increasing cost on the uh, restore uh, purging. So, but I think it's. I mean, you can see how all the cards get much much better. So. Reroll can refill the store? Refresh? Oh, wow, I didn't know this. Oh, right, well, that seems really good. Wow, I should do that each time. Gain a spell, upgrade a spell to gain double stack. Status effects are doubled. That seems good. Plus 10 magic spell. Well, stacking the thing that does twice is pretty good. And minus one. The point of this is still a discard it, so I'm gonna live the dream. Uh, there's not enough time to live the dream. We'll just cast it the old-fashioned way. Alright, cool. That was a good start. Oh, Wings of Light. The Clipped Warrior has become winged once more, creating statues in her former image to block your assault. All Bastard Guardians have Spell Shield 5. Fell empowers units with armor. Absorbs the next damage spell. Five of them? What? She's hard countering me! And then this has 9700, so she attacks twice. Oh wow, this is a tough one. It's fine, just kill the statues of units. Have you seen my units? Oh my god. Oh, and there are units too. Disaster. Okay, at least we have the sweep one kills all those chumps. Poke. 
Why did I draw a card? Oh, a third card, draw two. Nice. Consume double stack, deal 38 twice. I don't suppose this would uh, get rid of two spell damage. Might as well try. No, it does. Oh, you don't actually attack. Okay, you just uh, hang around and do debuffing, if I remember right. armor 10. Can't move between floors or change position on this floor. Absorb the next four damage spells. That does nothing. Wait, I shouldn't have been killing the... I, I needed to kill the second statue first, because that's where I cast my spells. Oops. Oh! Detonation and heal. It's pretty good. So if it, this goes here, I can't cast any spells. Uh, maybe this is time for trap shoot. Uh, I think we need to trap shoot this thing. I'm pretty sure I want to trap shoot the boss. Oh well, I'll trap shoot this thing. It only deals like four damage if it gets a. That's fine. I'll take a little bit of damage. Misplay, etc. Oh, but this thing will also. Oh, that's dying to the AoE. It's 28. It's only gonna deal 4 damage to the boss. Whatever, fine. Interesting deck. Okay, so I want the Mollusk Mage there. Which provides plus nine damage on this floor. It's a lot of damage. Let's see, this still has five spell shield absorbs. So nothing I can do here. Why is the statue still down here? Oh! Ice Storm! We did it! Maybe. I forgot to engraft first. Full order.
actually get some damage in on the boss there. Oh wait, that might be bad. Well, it's okay. I don't know if how much... No, I don't think it had any spell weakness on it. But if it did have spell weakness, it would be a mistake. Whoa. Okay, I think... The question is, is it worth doing this damage? Because it's on a pretty bad spell. I think... no. I'm gonna save it. No, oh, more engrafting. What does this do? Doesn't say it because it's random, but I can calculate it. All damage is six times. Now oh, that does a lot of damage. Then we'll just casually do that thing. Well, I've uh, that was pretty effective. a unit with plus 10 health apply spikes for? Uh, I think I actually skipped this one. Let's skip. Okay, so I have the perfect capacity. Draw plus one each turn or plus one action each turn. I think I have noticed that I've, I've been running out of mana. Okay, more mana then. Right, I draw two for free, yes. All right, the final boss is coming up. So I can either remove two cards, random trinkets, and box, and upgrade champion, or money, forge my units, 20 pyre health. Do I need to remove two units still? And we still have two lances that are pretty bad in the deck, relatively, and restores, probably remove one of each. Merchant of trinkets, and sealed cavern, all right, let's, uh, I did really want to, like, actually upgrade the Animus of Will to actually be able to do something, rather than be useless. But looks like, uh, yeah, it's just not gonna be Animus of Will's day. Oh, right, let's see about this, uh, random selection of trinkets. 50% chance to swap the front and back enemy units when they enter a train. Pointless. Units gain extra upgrade slot. Meh. Enemies get minus one attack. I don't think that's very important. Now let's, uh, let's look what's in the boxes. So I remove two cards from the deck. Um, I think we restore... Remove this steel nine thing. I actually think both of them. Or maybe one restore. Restore, uh, suddenly... Yeah, nine damage is just... Nothing. Bone Shaker stops near the abandoned remains of a train, looking to have belonged to a merchant. Still has some wares. Clans of the Hellhorned, Awoken, and Stygian Guard are out in the open, but taking something may cause the abandoned remains to fall to pieces. We can get a random Hellhorned consumable card, Awoken consumable card, Stygian Guard consumable card, so at the very least we can use them once before they die. Uh, our thing is all about spells, so I think a consumable stitching guard card should be pretty good. In theory. Apply spell weakness to enemy units. Okay, cool. Oh, he could even uh, not accept it if you wanted. That's really good. Alright, let's, uh, let's reroll this. Train steward units? No. At the end of the turn, frozen units are reduced to zero. Frozen cards. What is a frozen card? I don't have any. Your pyre gets plus 40 health. Eh, 40 health might matter. You never know. 
Or I could save the money. Let's see. Oh, I didn't realize you could look at the bottom. So the next one, we have Hellvent. Duplicate. I don't need to duplicate anymore. Merchant of Magic. Unstable Vortex. Merchant of Steel. Merchant of Trinkets. There's another one down there. I'll save my money. Okay, so we can either... Yeah, apply spell damage. Spell weakness, three. Seems fun. You can duplicate spells. Oh, I didn't know that. Shade Wings. Winged acquainted with the power of death. They consume the souls. So you can have, a uh, whoa, 400 coins if I take enemy units on each. So we have, a uh, 8 attack, 130 health. 10 attack, 5 health. Multi-strike, 1. When attacking, excess damage is applied to the subsequent enemy unit. I think I might die against this. That is 400 money, though. All right. Fight! Okay, it wasn't the worst case. I think when things spawn on the top, they're just uh, wounded units. Wait, these aren't even that strong. These weren't even mentioned in the dossier. Oh, they also deal 5 damage to the front enemy unit. Okay, so let's start with setting up the base floor, I think. Thinking about if I want to do one each. Wait, holy crap, this is strong. So this will deal 30 damage to my guy if I don't deal with this. So this is currently dealing 48 damage. That's a lot of damage. Eh, that's fine. We'll use this spike on the bottom floor. Although I definitely have a problem. Okay, if I use this on the bottom, so if I use this on the top floor, I will take 5 damage less. 10 damage less. I guess that's worth it. What a waste. What can you do? Don't want this guy to be put on the top just to die. This does no healing. So useless. I guess we'll spike the bottom floor. Oh, I thought this hit everyone! Oh, it's like one target. Why didn't this... Okay, this will... Okay, it'll save a guy at least. That's fine. I'm surprised it didn't, like, recalculate. Storm. Easy. Wait. Ah! Oh man, we're actually taking losses this fight. I don't know if that guy had to die. It's pop. Uh... So much DPS. Oh. 
may have forgotten to actually kill this guy. Oh, that's... Get down. Four on that. This thing's killing it. Anything would kill it. So the least amount of damage I can do to it is this. Definitely going a little bit worse than usual because I lost two units. But I mean, it looks pretty good still. Okay, final boss. Trample. 25 damage. And then we've got a guy there. We definitely want to apply spell weakness, but not necessarily first. We want to ice storm first, for sure. Okay, cool. Oh, and we want to do the spell weakness now. There's a lot less uh, spell weakness than I would have been able to get than if I had one more unit, but it's okay. Nine spell weakness is still a lot. I'll just uh, casually deal 450 twice to it. It's another discard synergy. Discard a card at random. Fly frostbite two to enemy units. Another engraft. Restore friendly units to full health. Awake. <laughs> More engraft. Okay, on the bottom one, I will want to do Hellvent, Merchant of Magic, Trinkets, over Vortex, Steel, Coins, Trinket, Duplicate any card. Oh yeah, some of those cards are pretty good. I think... Ice Storm has been really good. Let's have it twice. Hmm, 
fall over. Upgrade a spell to gain holdover. One play, this card is placed on top of your draw pile next turn. Keep stone. Wait, that's... Is that really good on any of them? Yeah, law order. That's not great. And check artifacts. Oh, we have a lot of money. Friendly units get plus three health. What? Terrible. Infused melt. 25% chance to deal five damage when an enemy unit enters your train wall. And can't abilities trigger an additional time. These are all terrible. Apply rooted to enemy units when they enter the floor below the pyre room. Prevents the next time a unit would move between floors. So I guess they stay at the floor one extra turn. Unit takes one damage per stack at the end of plus two each time it's a fl no. a forgotten name. When you play your third, all cards gain plus one. Oh, third spell for the rest of this battle. Oh. <laughs> Hold over. Eh, being able to graph for free each turn is nice. Even better, we can gain a profit on our engraft each turn. And plus 10 magic spell damage, we'll put it on. I think just stacking this with more damage is good. The detonate doesn't usually uh, deal damage because I don't have anything to heal. Double stack. <laughs> By spell weakness four. <laughs> it's a cheap way of getting rid of restore, I guess. Or frozen lance. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of a restore. Oh, five dollars off. I'll take this, whatever. All right, let's go. Seraph, the chaste. Seraph will remove half of any buff and debuff effects stacks. Only three times damage now. Oh. So I want to kill the cards here before they kill my chick. Uh, that looks like it's impossible. What? Apply Ember Drain 1 to the attacked unit. Ooh, scary. Neat. Hey, yeah, it's my consumable. Looks like the removing half was rounded. 
<laughs> Round it up. Oh, the rooted one does nothing. This looks like a good hand. Maybe law order. Plus one magic damage incrementally adding to. What is this one of the uh, summoning guys? Oh, should have detonated the health. Oops. That made that hard. Five seventy. I should have gotten the Encant Artifact. I forgot I had that tank on the top floor. I don't think the fight will get to the top floor. Ah! My hand is all of heals. Consumes are clogging the deck, but they're really good in theory with the boss comes. Well, how'd you get up here? First, oh, there we go. So I need to do a small amount of damage to this. So 20 will do. Yeah, I can like actually bully the boss a little bit. Probably have gotten there. I wonder if I missed lethal. <laughs> this uh, holdover and graft is pretty good.
Nice, blue guy, you gotta kill him. Oh, I'm hiding the boss HP, sorry. Okay, so the goal would be to get the maximum amount of Ice Storm damage on the boss. So we want to get that first. And then we do the detonation on the first guy. And then, throw a few of these engrafts away. Thirty-one, three hundred and ten, five times, is good. We had to maximize DPS. Okay, I overkilled by uh, about three thousand damage there. Score. Stygian Guard, you're pretty fun. Pyre Bound can only be played in the Pyre Room in the floor below it. Well, that's a pretty good card. 50% chance to apply silence when an enemy unit enters your train. Cool RNG. Preserve. Apply Frozen to a card in your hand. Is not discarded at end of your turn. Interesting. Token of a traitor. Playing a spell deals two damage to a random enemy unit on that floor. Seems good. Awoken. We have a 25 damage, 3 health card. That's quick. That's pretty good. Resolve. Add a sting spell to your hand. That's pretty sweet. For the sting deck. To beat your friend! Wait, Savits! <laughs> Look at this chump, he's only Covenant rank 1. So, uh, if you thought that was too easy, and I did not expect to one-shot it, because uh, it took me like six tries with the original basic thing. Uh, you can do Stygian, or you can do Covenant rank. So, higher challenge level. 